Alrighty folks, this is a big one. St. Lawrence has a special place in my heart. Not only because he's one of the patron saints of Rome, what a dream. He's also the patron saint of Cooks, which is an area I would really like to grow in. So I'm counting on his intercession to help me burn a few less dinners. One might even call our friend St. Lawrence the master of the grill. Too soon? Not sure. St. Lawrence was a deacon under Pope Sixtus II and was martyred in 258 under the Roman Emperor Valerian. It is said by St. Ambrose and others that St. Lawrence was roasted to death on a grill, but not without a sense of humor. <laughs> It is recorded that at one point he said to his torturers, I'm finished on this side, go ahead and flip me over. I mean, that takes some guts. And regardless of how that story goes, we know one thing for sure, that many conversions took place after the witness of St. Lawrence. Conversions took place not only because he was martyred, but because of the kind of Christian that he was. Unapologetic, courageous, and willing to die to stake his life on the truth that Jesus Christ suffered, died, and rose again for you and I. So I don't know about you, but I'm gonna ask St. Lawrence today for a little bit of that courage to live fully and unapologetically for the Lord and his church. We can take note of everything that the Holy Spirit inspired in St. Lawrence to be such a notable saint to us today and recognize that the same Holy Spirit is available for you and I. You and I have what it takes to live with courageous virtue. So what are you waiting for? Let's ask St. Lawrence to pray for us that we would become heroic examples of the faith, whatever that looks like in each one of our lives. Also, that I could do a little better in the kitchen. St. <laughs> Lawrence, pray for us. See you soon.